Hey, welcome to Life is Strange. Now, I'm doing this for like a wee do, so I'm sorry I left you off with six minutes of the last episode too, but today I won't do that again. I'll do it in little parts like I've done Western Evil. And speaking of Western Evil, we're not doing that anymore. <laughs> it's hurting me as, it hurt, as much as hurting you, but we do have other games to play for the moment, like might as well get back to the Crash Bandicoot stuff for about a month. Anyway, let's do episode 3 of Life is Strange, Chaos Theory. In the previous episodes of Life is Strange... Whoa! We call film little pieces of time. Because that's what everybody just wants. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! It totally makes sense. You know how to save my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record right that idea. I'm going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's down in the weeds. You're my business now. That's I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Run! Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What are you doing here, Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everyone. Miss Coffee. Why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. So where are we now with Max? It's night time. I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. It's funny how episode two and episode three have this insane but there, I guess. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. Ugh, all this atmospheric action can't be a coincidence. And all roads are leading to my tornado vision. Are you a hungry bunny? Yes, not on this. You know you're hurting when you don't give a shit about music. 
glad the media doesn't waste a second exploiting the tragedy. Hmm. Besides Rachel, it's been a while since anybody vanished from Arcadia Bay. This is such a moving piece of cut and paste black robe bullshit. Nobody here had Kate's back. Too little, too late. Yes, now everybody loves Kate Marsh. They bullied her and now post their feels. Hypocrites. Either I delete my page or I block everybody. Nowhere to hide these days. Everybody will be talking about Kate now. Blackwell might as well shut down for the next month. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. has her wings now. So much hypocrite. Kate, I would give up my power if I could have another rewind to save you. I won't rest until we find out the truth. God, that's like some awful TV crime scene in our dorm. I feel like you're guiding us along, but where? I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. Kate was serious. But it's not all about that video. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? I'm not sure yet, but I'm on it. Weird shit is going down at Blackwell. And I'm going to find out why. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Wait, so we can go back into our work? the line from Snoop to Detective, I might as well search for clues about what really happened to Kate at the Vortex Club party. I'll title this one, Portrait de la Assholes. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. These socks cost more than my wardrobe.
Victoria is about as straight as me. But she really appreciates style. Well, well. Maybe Victoria isn't a monster after all. like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. Victoria's Secret. She's a geek. Here they are getting loaded with Satan. Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Sammy wasn't around. Nothing here. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So who does? The most magical insects burn bright. Principal Wells, oh, are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. He's on me. Son. Max the ninja strikes again. Ah, Get it? Boo, yeah. Like a scary punk ghost. Well, like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm... I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying. 
trying to be a bitch, but I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just... I'm like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's going to bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? I hope so, Chloe. But how? Snow and Eclipse are bad omens. This whole town is a bad omen. I noticed that Blackwell seems to be ground zero. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Dead? I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. And start growing here. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day. You can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... kidding me? So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. She's about to get real with Rockwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. 
We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Boring. Desolation. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Ruben. The race is on. See you soon. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Number one? The crack can. It's all mine anyway. Only three more items to go. I've done this before, so I should be able to pull them. Gross. I hate that formal and smell. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Oh, you deserve way more than this for taking on Nathan, but every little grade counts. Why can't I? Home, Max. 
Sorry. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chloride. Yeah, there's something else we need here. Come back if so. somebody that shoots like that. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. I don't think there's anything else here that we need. Maybe I need to go back to that other room. And look a bit harder. Funny how I keep this up. <laughs> In fact, that doesn't help at all. So I'll add some hair. Tell them. Good evening, fish fish. Thanks, fish. Nice work. Please resume your slumber. If you can't find sodium chloride in the science lab, give it up. No, this mixture doth not work. So, sodium chloride is a weed killer. You'd think Warren would have told me that factoid. Probably should find those items now. I am finding those items now, idiot. Oh wait a minute. There we go. Here's the sodium chloride box. Oh, I hate wasting time so much. Okay, so we have to make the mistake first and then get the. You chair. know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Quite literally. <laughs> I hope all of you had a fantastic Halloween if you celebrate it.
Let's try this instead. Ooh, literally. Yes, time to blow shit up. If you'll light the candle. This is so cool. Get ready to haul ass. Bye. That was so fucking cool. Oh, we are toast. Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? This ancient door is no match for Max the Magician. Bullshit! Fucking door! Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and be. My powers only go so far. Yeah, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy fill art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on a case. Looks like an oil paintings bill. Awful. Browser, this will so not come in handy. And nothing here. You're not so tacky up close. If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. I'm an idiot for not doing that. Tumbleweeds. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully too. Shocker. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this, but there's not much here about the police investigation. Alright, so... Only two more files to go. Even though that, I think we'll just continue this next time because... Uh, well, I'll charge this camera. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.